welcome to youtube explore channel today we'll be going to learn about new formula drop down block changes where you will be able to just use drop down list and against that you can also use the drop down list instead of writing manually but before that we'd like to understand this chart here the image because we will be going to use the name box like being being represented here and the cells the cells where we have mentioned our data so i hope you would be able to understand this is the formula bar like being mentioned in the diagram and then the worksheet the whole worksheet is started from a1 until the last column or cell and these two from here to here this is the toolbars so friends let's start how this formula can help you out and making your work more effective and helping you out in 10 situations to find out data in a less time so just see here i'm just going to do a simulation i just selected the fruit and in the fruit we have seen the data being represented in the food E column where fruit list is mentioned and you can see net automatically those data which is being represented in the E column under fruit list we will be finding it over here in the drop down list so that's how Excel is making your work so effective and efficient that your boss will always proud on you if you learn these few things and if you click on vegetable the vegetable list will come up over here and you can select cucumber accordingly and if you are going to select about stationary you can go for stationary items and then you can click on pencil whichever you want so friends let me tell you how we will be able to make this formula work for the time being i have used this data you can mention this data on another sheet and you can use this on another sheet the drop down block First, you have to make a list of product which you want in the first column. For instance, I have mentioned here stationary fruit, vegetable. But friends, once you select this, go to name box and type produce over there. You can type your name over there as well. I just type produce and then I click on enter. Make sure once you write the name, in the name box do not do anything until and unless you click on enter and if you come out and click on somewhere and then go back here you can click on produce you will find that your list is being selected automatically same way I have used the name box for stationery for fruit list and for vegetable list you can see here if I click on stationery, then the stationery list will be selected automatically. And if I click on vegetable, then the vegetable list will be selected, selected. And then if I click on fruit, the fruit list will be selected. Now, friends, up to here, you have to first arrange your data in Excel sheet by naming each product under the list. And then you can prepare this data on another sheet. Afterwards, what you have to do you have to go for two two things these two things are the product name and item where i have to select this cell up to where i want the list should come first so once you select this then go to data and over there data validation you will be finding the list friends click on list then come to the source where you have to just put the formula equal to and name produce the name I used here for this product list produce and click on OK similarly you have to use select the cells up to home which you want to get your item drop down list against the product name list then click on list come over here in the source over here equal to indirect then bracket start h3 
H3 is this cell friends where I'm pointing out right now. S3 means if I select product name stationary fruit vegetable, then accordingly on that selection the item names represent me. And I can select whatever I would like to have against that product name. So friends, through this indirect formula, we will be able to reduce our work stress and hopefully we will be able to achieve the maximum sortations of data in less time so friends i hope you may have liked this video and uh, therefore i would like to ask you please like and share my channel so i can bring up more videos for you to learn and excel so it would be effective in your working